is Paolo Brandoni, I work at LCAV and I teach digital signal processing, it's the third year course at EPFL. I also like music a lot and so I try to include as much sound processing as possible in my class and I think that Jupyter Notebooks are a fantastic tool to blend the theory with the practice with the help of music. And so we start with something that everybody knows, uh, Pac-Man, right? So we've all heard the, the sound like this. And we try to describe the math behind uh, a polyphonic one bit per sample sound. So signal processing is all about manipulating information uh, and especially digital information. And so uh, once you have some information could be an audio file and a video file uh, then you can really do anything you want in a general purpose computing platform like your laptop and the idea is instead of having to learn how to deploy complicated programming framework you have a very easy interface and you can write little pieces of code that very with very little effort can actually play sounds, show images, and give a feedback immediately to the students that is not just right or wrong. What I try to do is use the notebooks to tell a story. So, uh, and that's really my advice to, to write effective notebooks. You, you want to use real world data, you want to tell a story that makes sense. Uh, you want possibly to use uh, something that people can appreciate like audio or, or images. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid to, to tell side stories, to give some historical context. And of course you have to keep the code simple so that people can interact with it without having too much of a, a learning curve. Okay, so this is one of the first uh, notebooks that I wrote for the class and the idea is to take, as I said, a real-world uh, piece of data and in particular it's a snippet from a Beatles song called I Feel Fine, which is important because it's the first time that some distorted guitar was recorded, was on record. And the idea is can we replicate that synthetically by uh, building all the building blocks of this feedback chain uh, with uh, Python code. This is note playing by the guitar and then the distortion takes place. So now we're going to play the synthetic version and it sounds like this. Today you can do pretty much everything with your laptop and uh, Jupyter Notebook is really like a portable lab where people can experiment and try to apply in practice what they learn in class. And so the notebooks that I use are really some examples of applied uh, theoretical concepts. Noto is a great platform because it allows students to um, use computing resources in the school and so they can access it even with their mobile phone. So they have access to a computing platform that is powerful, uh, they have access to the code that is directly uh, stored in GitHub you know, without having to first download it and they can play with the notebooks on the go. So I think it's a fantastic uh, resource that, uh, that we have here.